Hello everybody, this is Mr. Ken. I'm here with a weekly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. This reading covers from May 6th through May 12th. This will not resonate with everybody, so please do keep that in mind. Please make sure you check out your other signs for additional information, possibly, or one of the other signs may resonate with you better. Okay? And I'm just sitting here. I've already pre done some pre-shuffling. So, so, but this is angel assistance. So, Scorpio, um, you have an angel watching over you. You have a guardian angel, and this angel is assisting you as you go through your life journey or through whatever situations you, you are facing right now. Okay, so you do have an angel watching over you, and... We're going to see what additional information there is. Um, you have asked the angels for help and they are guiding you. You are now supported by the angelic realm. Serving as God's messengers, the angels provide heavenly support, divine wisdom, knowledge, and healing to all beings on earth. You are deeply connected to the angelic realm right now and you are ready to receive their assistance. Assisting you on your earthly journey, the Archangels have delegated a team of helpers for many areas of your life. The angels share with you messages of divine wisdom, knowledge, and healing through our thoughts, signs, nature, people, and life synchronicities. The angels act as bridges for, every, for energy shifts and soul awakenings. The Akashic records, light codes, spiritual knowledge, higher planes, and realms of consciousness. Right now, the archangels have arrived to connect you to divine source. Powerful healing is taking place. You are encouraged to employ healthy eating and lifestyle choices as these will assist in adjusting your unique and divine vibrations to align you with your life's purpose. The angels ask you to spend time in meditation focusing on sacred geometric symbols to enhance your intuition. Connect to the collective consciousness and expand your spiritual awareness. Connecting to the angels in this way provide a bridge to higher realms. Each color represents an archangel and it's and is charged with a specific role. Focus on the card. Which colors are you drawn to? Um, anyhow, it's... Me, personally, I'm drawn to the purple or the indigo. And the indigo is Archangel Zedekiel, Universal Magic Intuition and Manifestation. So, what I'm feeling here is right now, you have the angels assisting you in whatever it is you're trying to manifest, Scorpio. And I feel like there is divine healing that has occurred in your life. And you're at a place where there is nothing that you can't accomplish. You have the power. The angels are helping you. And you can, there's nothing you can't accomplish right now, Scorpio. Okay. Things are working out in your favor. Okay. And it's all about trusting and, med and meditating on what it is that you want to manifest in your life. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and dig into the tarot and see what messages the tarot has for you this week. And again, this is we ask the spirits and angels. So this is an, we're working with archangels and angels. We ask the angels for guidance for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus for this week, April 6th through April 12th. What messages do you have? 
for our Scorpios. What messages do you have for our Scorpios, please? Okay, this is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is starts out on the week right now. You're not feeling very abundant. Uh, I feel like maybe you're feeling you're almost starving. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, uh, you've experienced some sort of loss. Um, somebody's out in the cold. Uh, but I feel like somebody somebody's definitely feeling a loss. Somebody's feeling. The squeeze, this could be a financial squeeze as well. We're going to find out the causes of this squeeze in, in the moment. But I feel like somebody has put it out there that they're trying to manifest a better life. They're trying to manifest exactly what they need. Somebody's having trouble making ends meet is what I'm feeling. And what is crossing is the Eight of Swords. Somebody feels trapped. Okay? So somebody feels at a loss. Somebody feels like the somebody's lacking abundance, and they're feeling trapped. Okay, and somebody's blindfolded. There is a way out. the The ribbons or ropes that are tying you up, they're very loosely bound. But this is something that's mental. Somebody is trapped in their own mind and are unable to see. What recourses they have. They're unable to see the, the path ahead, the way out, okay? Or they might be seeing the way out, but it's not something that they've chosen that they really want to do. So we're going to get some more information about this, but somebody's definitely feeling strapped financially, I feel. This may or may not end up being a love reading. We will see. And what's working under, under the scenes is that this is a cycle. This is the world card. This is completion and success. So I feel like that you are at a point of a new cycle beginning. The angels are here to assist you. So what you're not seeing behind the scenes are the angels working on your behalf to end this cycle. Okay. And I'm going to with what's above you is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is you heading... You drop on the sword, you, and again, look, it's like snowy out. Just like here it's snow, there's snow. It's like, this is incredible. This is somebody who is definitely feeling left out in the cold. Perhaps you're homeless, Scorpio. I don't know. Um, I'm feeling some Scorpios might be at a point financial low that they are. They might even be homeless. And I see somebody migrating to a better climate, per se, a better situation. Somebody's on the move to make things better, and you and that per and you have assistance of the angels to make that happen. Okay, wheel of fortune, the energy coming into this week. Your 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 fortune is changing. You are on the downside. Okay, and now the the wheel is destiny, and it keeps on turning. Every we all. Everybody goes through ups and downs. That's, some people it's financial up and down. Sometimes it's emotional or mental or spiritual. There's so many different scenarios out there. It, life is a continuous wheel that keeps on turning. You know that song, I th uh, was it by the Eagles or who it was? Uh, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. This, that's, that song's playing in my head right now. But I feel... Because of what I see here with the world coming to, to the cycle coming to a completion and you moving away to something better, an angel card here helping you out, this is a change of fortune, okay? And three of wands, your goal will become more clear and more in sight. You've got this, I mean, one of these staffs, it is just glowing brightly, okay? And... Or that you have a ball of energy. Okay. And 
You're about to leave the troubles and the past behind you. So you have good things coming to you. Your plan is plans are coming together this week. They're going to start coming together this week, Scorpio. And Ten of Wands. This is where you're at. This is how you're feeling. This is this is you in the situation that you've been so heavily burdened. And this is definitely a financial reading, by the way. This is no way relationship-wise. That is what I'm feeling here. This is not a relationship. This is financial. So your financial situation is turning around. All your financial burdens are going to be lifted. Your financial burdens are going to start. You're going to start seeing them being lifted. Okay, right now you're carrying a very heavy load. And you're going to be presented with this opportunity to drop that heavy load. And we have the Page of Pentacles in your environment. So somebody is going to offer you an opportunity. There's going to be some communications coming through. This, this could be an offer to going back to school. Just saying. Okay. Somebody has an offer in their hands. Perhaps going back to school to learn a skill, learn a trade, to help you along, to get you out of this financial slump, okay? And the advice is the Nine of Cups, don't stop dreaming. Your wish is being fulfilled. That's a message from Spirit, from the angels. This, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You've prayed, you've had faith, and your prayers are being answered. Okay, so, you are in the process of manifesting a better life. And everything that you've wanted is going to be at your fingertips. So the advice is, well, I just keep hearing of following your dreams. Follow your dreams. Do not give up. Because your wish is going to be fulfilled. Ten of Pentacles. Security. Come on. This is definitely financial. You are going to have financial security. You're going to be able to feel, build your family home. Your legacy. For the, the, down the road, everything that's transpiring this week is going to lead to financial securities. I mean, what much? What more can I say about this? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups. Wow. She's abundant. She's nurturing. She's loving. She's psychic. Okay? You've been following your intuition. And this is spiritual connection. You've had the spiritual connection with those angels. Just saying. This is a wonderful reading for you, Scorpio. This is really incredible. You are truly, truly being blessed this week. Something is falling into your lap this week. Something's falling into place. Even though you still carry this burden this week, and you, but that mental entrapment, the, you're going to start seeing a road. There's a road. As you know, you haven't traveled the road yet. This is what I want to point out. It doesn't mean you're going to be miraculously wealthy or secure this week. This is about a plan coming this is a plan of action that you can see. The plan of action coming into place. And for some I keep seeing school. I'm just saying, an opportunity being offered to you to go back to school, I feel. That's what I feel very strongly about. So I do hope this helps somebody. And... Please do make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. 
and I will see you next time.